For this lesson, we're going to take a look at some tools that we can use to manage our models. We're going to start with purging all the unused elements, and then we're going to follow up with checking some of the warnings that exist in the model and look at some techniques we can use to resolve those warnings. The first thing we want to do is go to our Manage tab. Within the Manage tab, we'll find Purge Unused. Now, this model is not very heavy and doesn't have a ton of elements, but don't be surprised if you purge a model that's been worked on for quite a while and there are thousands of elements that are not being used. When you purge a model, you want to make sure that you have a good idea of what's going to be removed. And you also want to consider the timing of doing this. After you start a project with a well-developed template, it's probably not a good idea to purge at that point because you haven't gotten to the point where you've used the elements that you're going to use for that project. Towards the end of a project, or maybe right before your first submittal, you know, if you were to purge everything, it's probably not that bad of an idea. But if you want to selectively purge, what you can do is you can come in and you can start immediately by saying check none. And then you can go in and you can say, well, I'm not going to be using any of these precast door types. So I can go ahead and I can remove those. Now within those families, there may be types that you want to use. In this case, we don't have any of those. But we could just selectively purge out you know, one or two of them. So I'll go ahead and select these doors. And at this point, you know, as you see me expanding these things, you'll notice that these elements are only ones being purged. If I wanted to purge an image from the model, you can see it's in raster image. I can check that as well. Now the number of items checked is down to 14 and I can hit OK. And now I've just removed those 14 elements from my model. This is good practice because it's just better and more efficient to run on a model that doesn't have extra things that you aren't going to be using. Another way to make your model more efficient is to make sure and limit the amount of warnings and errors that you have. Same thing from the Manage tab, we'll go to Warnings. And a dialog box will pop up in the bottom right. We can look at all of these warnings individually, and we can resolve those issues as we go through. So if I try to resolve warning 17 here, what I can do is I can find the element. And I know that it's going to exist somewhere on this edge here. So I'm going to close my hidden windows and I'll go to my 3D view. And the reason I'm getting the error is because there's a tiny segment of a curtain wall here that really shouldn't be there. And so I can delete that, and then I've resolved that error. Another thing you can do with the warnings, and this is really not too bad here, um, you can also export them into an HTML file that you could use to reference if you're trying to remove them. Because sometimes it's hard to go through and see them within, within here. And what's great is each one of them is going to give you the element ID, which is helpful because if you have those numbers, you can search element ID. And it'll actually find that element ID for you, which in this case was that room. And I could reference that report that I kicked out to go ahead and resolve those errors.